Time's up. <laughs> Patriot is not the only solution. We have solutions in Europe, uh, and they are recognized as a netto asset for anti-ballistic uh, capabilities. This is the Aster system uh, called SIMPT. It is a much more modern system, uh, which has a lot of advantage over the today existing Patriot system, which is a system of the 70s. One obvious one, it is 360 degree system. That means that the radar can see all around the target and not only in one direction like the Patriot, which has only a radar that can see 120 degree, which means you need three batteries to cover the 360 degree. It also has a radar which can see targets coming very low, like cruise missile and ballistic missiles simultaneously. Whereas the Patriot is like uh, the old antenna, is a flat antenna, and when it's looking up, it sees up, but nothing coming from uh, ground level. It is also a system which is much more mobile, uh, and this is very important today to be able to deploy quickly. It is a system that needs much less people to operate, and this is very important in terms of cost, because uh, when you see that it is between four to seven times less people to operate, you can imagine for the cost of uh, possession of the system the difference. The system is more modern, so the maintenance is also designed to be much lighter than old system designed in the 70s. The architecture of the system is more open, it's not a closed system, and all these defects will be in the future uh, corrected in the US. They will have, in some years, a 360-degree radar. They will have a new command and control system of open architecture like we have with IBCS. It will be modern in some five years or, or more. The old system today is obsolete. Everybody knows that. If you go for a system now, you either wait for five years that the U.S. have a system which can fulfill the uh, threat of today and tomorrow, like Iskander missile, or you go for an existing system built in Europe, designed in Europe, fulfilling already these requirements, and which is not ending its life. We are now already developing the new generation missile for the Yester system, the Aster 30 Block 1 NT. It will cope with ballistic missiles in the range of 1,500 kilometers instead of 600 kilometers as it does today. And the capability will be increased uh, facing very highly maneuvering targets like you can imagine in the future ballistic missiles will be. We have a, a principle in MBDA. We don't sell you all generation system. We don't cooperate on all technology. But industrial cooperation, I think it is very legitimate for a country like Romania. Now that you have 2% uh, of your GDP available, at least for 10 years, and I think it's very legitimate that you want to revitalize your defense industry. And typically, when you have to renew uh, the Vishorad Shorad of the three forces, you have, over the next 10, 12, 15 years, a volume of activity uh, which is worth uh, building um, activities in country. Uh, for example, why not have a production line in country for some of our missiles? Romania is going to spend a lot of money, a lot of resources uh, coming directly from the pockets of you taxpayers. Uh, this must not be spent, thrown away for an obsolete system without cooperation. It's not something that is decided suddenly between two guys out of the blue and, and can come through. It's a long process and uh, <clears throat> looking at alternative is, I think, a good idea. And we can be this alternative.